Good evening, everyone. Good hello, evening. Jonathan. Hello, Jennifer. Adriana. Hi, good evening. evening. Nerling, good to see you here. Andrea, Mayra, Catherine. Good to see you in a class. Jennifer Raquel, how are you doing? Good to see you in a class again. Okay, so we're gonna start. Okay. And but let me see, I only have seven people. I hope that the rest of the people got there. Okay. So this is the week number three, right? So that means that the next week is going to be the last week in the uh, pre-intermediate level of English. Is that right? Is that right? Yes. Yes, right. So we're missing a week and we will be done with this level of English. How do you feel so far? How? Do you think you have learned a lot or do you, do you think you need to practice more for moving on to the next level of English or maybe you consider that you are still missing something, right? From the basic or the intermediate level of English. I need to practice. Ah, so we need to practice, right? So no matter if you belong to the, to the basic level of English, intermediate level of English, advanced level of English, if you are bilingual, okay, what really matters is that you put into practice what you have learned, okay? All right, okay. and sure. tell me. I want to say um, something. Um, I have a meeting right now, um, pero, bueno, para ser más rápida lo voy a decir en español, este ayer, Um, yo no escuché cuando se pasó listo, pero sí estuve en toda la clase, no sé si lo recuerda. Well, I will check, Andrea, I will check the list of things. Lo voy a did revisar, you, Andrea Esmeralda. Give me I one second. The, the homework. Um, I did talking about my father. Okay, just give me one second, Andrea. I will check it just right now, porque para nosotros es sumamente importante eso. Que la asistencia quede tal cual como, como fue en la clase, ¿verdad? Just give me one second, Andrea. Yeah, sorry, es que en, en mi casa a veces hace bastante bulla y no logro fijarme y ha estado un poco lento el inter. Ok. Le he preguntado eso? por qué. Yo pensaba no decir nada y no iba a faltar esta vez, pero no me acordaba que tenía reunión, así que no quiero perder la asistencia también de hoy. No, Andrea, Andrea, I did it. I did it. I, I, I included you in the list of things. No, I, I will show it to you. No, 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 it is not this. This is the one. Ok, ese es, el, ese es prácticamente el documento que nosotros eh, utilizamos. Y como ven, acá pues aparecen ya con, sus, con su asistencia. Yo lo que hago para, para agilizar el tiempo, pues yo les coloco que todos estuvieran en clase y al final solo voy mencionando. Adriana, por ejemplo... Pues ya tiene el uno, pero si yo no, si no me responde al finalizar o no estuvo en la clase, entonces yo cambio el uno al cero. Ok, el uno significa que usted estuvo presente, el cero significa que no estuvo presente. Ok, a mí me, me funciona mucho como, como asignarles que sí estuvieron y al final solo cambiarle a aquellas personas que no estuvieron en la clase. Ok, Andrea. In your case, you, en su caso, mire, ayer, acá está. E inclusive les aparece el tiempo que estuvieron en clase. Por eso yo les digo que es importante. Cada minuto cuenta. ¿Ok? Ok, thank you, teacher. All right. So, well, um, 
I will stop sharing this for a moment. Well, you had a you had a lot of activities, right? I remember I asked you to to describe. So we will continue with description. Okay, describing people. And uh, also I told you to practice the conversation, right? So we're gonna see it in a couple of minutes, but first off, uh, okay, okay, okay. I got it, Myra. Okay, so, uh, well, you are going to describe somebody in the group, okay? And, uh, but without saying his or her name, right? And we need to discover who the person is. So we're gonna start with that uh, in our course. Okay, so we're going to start with Adriana. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I need to see this person. <laughs> I need to see the person. Yes, because it is done. Huh. Uh, okay. And I suppose he is uh, very tall and he has a short brown hair and he has um, white skin and he has uh, black eyes and the personality is a very mysterious person and very quiet. The key words and also you, you said he, so we already know that the person you're talking about is a, is a boy. So we have like keywords out there. Who's the person? Who do you think the person is? Paco. Mysterious, mysterious and quiet. Who's the person in the group? Paco. Paco? Yes, pero no but está. Francisco, do you consider Francisco is, is quiet and mysterious? I consider, or oh, I suppose to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Francisco is mysterious and quiet, and, and you suppose he's a tall guy, right? Thank you. So we're learning about our classmate. Thank you very much. Carla. Activate. Hello, okay, excuse hello. me. <laughs> okay, my description for a classmate. <clears throat> bueno, la perdí. No, 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 ya la vi, espérame. Hey, hey, you may say that person is, it's not necessary if you say he or she, okay? But you can say, this person has a dark or, or brown skin or something like that. Or oh, okay. That person has... Um, I go. The person I am going to describe is a college with a home. I think I started the English course. Um, excuse me, because I have <laughs> much dog in my house. Listen. On camera, she looks small, 
with brown skin, black eyes and straight hair. You can see that she is a serious and correct person. Her personality is consistent with the career she is working on. She's a liar. Her name is Mayra. Okay, you already said the name of the person, right? Okay. That characteristics, which are like the main characteristics you mentioned about Mayra? Yes, yes. Oh, I see that she is serious. She's uh, very, is Mayra over here? Se ausentó unos minutos. Ah, yeah, Mayra is, yeah. ah, I yes, I'm Mayra. here. Okay, yes, Mayra I'm is here. there. So you see, Mayra, people, people see you as a very serious lady. Right? No, 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 no. Not very, very serious. No, but uh, she looks serious, but she's a good person. It's yeah. very correct. Yeah, sometimes, I mean, you... sometimes I'm serious, sometimes. You can be serious and you can friendly at the same time. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, being serious is not that bad. I, it's not bad at all, right? Okay, it all depends on each person. There are some people who are funny and friendly, but very respectful also, right? So it all depends on each person. Thank you very much, Carla. Good participation. Andrea. Mm -hmm. I, um, he is very um, participatory, participatory, is this a coach? Um, rarely smiles, smiles, always is super attentive and always wear glasses in class. Mm, his hair is black and short. Mm, I believe that's all I will say. Well, which are the, the main characters? He is very active in the class. He loves to participate in the class. <laughs> I know who you are talking about, but I won't say the name. Who is the person she's talking about? Paco, maybe. Paco? Maybe. Does, does Paco wear glasses? Yes. He does. But, but, but you know, I, I mean, Paco is mysterious. Somebody said it, right? What else have you said about Paco? Paco is serious. Serious. Serious, mysterious. He wears glasses. What else have, have you mentioned about Paco? He's very attentive. You said, Andrea, uh, Andre, actually, you, you were talking about Paco? Yes. Paco is the one that's very popular in the group. Okay. Unfortunately, Paco is not in the class. I, I, I thought you were talking about Hiroki, but no. Okay, maybe we yeah. can see Paco at the end, right? So unfortunately, we don't have it in the class right now. Claudia, go ahead, please. Um, he has curling hair. He is young and Hexon nice and always wear his um, black headphones. So only. Uh, 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 what do you remember? What what did she mention? What did she mention? Car curly hair. Curly hair. Ah, okay. Curly. He has curly hair. Long or short? Short. Short curly hair. What else, what else did she mention? Is Jonathan. <laughs> is, is Jonathan? But, but you didn't mention anything regarding to his personality. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I he, he's very attentive. 
Mm. Uh, you were talking about Jonathan. Jonathan is the one. Claudia. Yeah, Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan. Thank hey, you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent, Jonathan. So, Jonathan, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I talk about. Uh, she is a. Uh, she is sorry. A woman, a young woman. Uh, she has a. Uh, <laughs> she is es que aquí, bueno <laughs> artista um, she is intelligent she is very funny she looks uh, really smart um, I don't know uh, yesterday she told that yeah, she is a Rolex she <laughs> Uh, she 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 has uh, her can off right now. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, I don't remember exactly, but there was a lady who said, "And I and I know I I'm know. A, a Rolex, right?" I think it's Forget Yancy. about Cassie. It's a Rolex. <laughs> Yancy, are you there? Yancy. Well, yes. She's, well, Jess is there, <laughs> right? Okay, because she she talked about Shakira just there. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jonathan. Thank you very much. Okay, let's continue with Catherine. Hello. Hello. Um. She. The person has black hair and he normally wears glasses, but I know that he doesn't print and he has long curly hair and he's friendly. Only. <laughs> oh, only that, but you said a, a long curly hair. Sorry, short curly uh, hair. Oh, yeah, because I was wondering about about a person with a long a curly hair. A, it's a boy. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I think it's kind of easy, right? Okay, Carla. Okay, now who's the person, people? Jonathan. Jonathan again. <laughs> okay, Jonathan. Very good. You know, a lot of people Thank talking about much. Paco and Jonathan. Jonathan and Paco. <laughs> and Paco never show, showed up. Uh, yes, let's let's participate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, let us have a last participant. So we can we can move on. We have uh, some other activities, okay, to do tonight. I need a volunteer. And we finish with this activity. Me? Okay, thank you, Mayra. Um, my climate is she, I think she has long black hair. Maybe she's medium height, a middle aged woman. For me, she is very friendly and talk talkative. Yes, maybe. Friendly and talkative. Hello, Tatiana. Who? Tatiana? Yes. Tatiana is the person you're talking about. Okay. Very sí. talkative and very friendly. Hey, is Tatiana over here? Se ausentó unos minutos, dijo. Okay, thank you very much. Hey, congrats, people. Now, you see, we, we were like practicing. Yeah, Carla Tatiana was the, the lady. Well, congratulations. Okay, you know, it uh, seems to be very, very simple, right? But it, it's very meaningful when I listen to your participations in the class. Well, 
Uh, I think there was another activity, right, that you, you were in church of. I think it, it was about this conversation, right? Describing people. No, 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 no. Give me one second. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, now uh, I told you, right, to get ready with uh, the description of every single person in this party. It seems to be a party, right? What are they doing, actually? They are dancing, dancing. and drinking. Uh, they are dancing and they are drinking some, uh, they are having a good time, right? So they are having a party. And I told you to imagine about every single person's personality, right? Now, we're going to start talking about these two people. These two people. What can you tell me about them? What are their names? Imagine, what are their names? Oscar, they are and Tanya. Couple? Uh, uh, let, us, let us invent na their names. So somebody okay. said Tanya. Tanya? And Oscar. Uh, okay, we have Tanya and we have Oscar. What can you tell me about Tanya? She has... Uh, she stole. She stole. Carly her black hair. She has a long curly black hair. Kid. Brown skin. She has brown skin. No more? Personality? What do you think about Maybe. her? She's she friendly. Up. She, she seems to be friendly. She's talkative. She's talkative. She's talking with the, with Oscar, right? You say Oscar, right? Mysterious. Hey, she's mysterious because actually, this is the first time we, we describe her. Okay. That's it? That's it. I, I think they are very romantic, right? They, they seem to be like talking about uh, she has curly hair. It's uh, she has curly hair. That's right. Pretty good. Okay, so over here. Who's he? Charlie. Uh, he's Charlie. Okay, what's, what's all about Charlie? How do you describe Charlie? He has he blonde, blonde hair. hair. Uh, he has he, blonde hair. He's tall. He's oh. American. He's American. Oh. He's, he's tall. He's funny. He's funny. Has yellow hair. Friendly. Uh, his his hair is blonde. Okay. He's tall. He's, he's tall. friendly. He's tall. He's wearing vintage. He's wearing vintage. That's all. And that's it. What's his name? Charlie. 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 Okay. Charlie. Who's next to Charlie? Cat Katia. Huh? They <laughs> say Katia. Katia. Katia? Katia. Okay, yes. Katia. What can you tell me about Katia? She's short black hair. Ah, she has short black hair. Wearing glasses. Wearing glasses. She wears glasses. Very good. She is friendly. She's friendly. Nice. She's she she thin. looks very well. She thinks she looks she's good looking. She's, she's pretty she, woman. She's a pretty woman. He's rich. Uh, uh, she seems to be wealthy. Glasses. Yeah, he wears glasses. Pretty good. Who's over here, people? She's very tall. Julia. Julia. Uh, Julia. She's tall. Now, uh, do you remember about conversation? Julia. Hi, Ro. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Uh, Julia, which one is she? Is, is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Now, who's she? 
Uh, she's Julia, right? What can you tell me about Julia? She is shy. She's shy. She's tall. She's, she's tall. tall. She's very tall. She's very alone. tall. She's alone, maybe because very she, long hair. She has long hair. Maybe she is shy because you know she's not talking with anybody in the party, right? And yes. I, yeah. Maybe she's waiting for somebody to talk with, right? She has black eyes. Oh, uh, she has brown eyes, okay. Brown eyes, that brown eyes, okay. Pretty good. Now, who's this person? Johnny. Uh, uh? Johnny. Johnny, okay. <laughs> hey, you, you, you have a really nice imagination. Hey, Johnny, what's going on with Johnny? Johnny is chubby. Ah, uh, Johnny is chubby. She's a little she? fat. She, she wears glasses. She, ha she? He has, uh, he has a he, he has brown he, short hair. He's wearing glasses. He's, he wears glasses. He's wearing glasses wears at glasses. the party. He has short, curly, uh, brown hair. What else? She's the, he's dancing. He's, he loves to dance, kid. He's funny. funny. It's and funny. He, he's it's funny. funny. Okay. Funny. Who's next and to friendly. Johnny? And friendly. Who's Shakira. next to Johnny? Shakira. Okay. What can you tell about Shakira? <laughs> he's short, curly hair. She has. She's short, angry. Curly. She's angry, but she's laughing. Angry. She's enjoying it at the party. She is very happy. She's oh, very she happy. She's talking to you. He's talkative. He's wearing a like dress. Dancing. He's wearing he's... A, a, a purple dress. She's dancing. She's a party girl. She likes to dance. She, she's a, a party she girl. She likes to dance. She loves she's... to dance. She's very smiling. Oh, she, she's, she smiles, okay, a lot. She's sociable. She's sociable. Pretty good. Now, what about these two people? Who are they? <clears throat> Liz and Raul, maybe? Liz and Raul. They are the one in the conversation, right? <laughs> okay, what can you tell me about Raul and, and Liz? She's a PR Latin American. Ah, they are Latin American people, both of them? Only she? Only Liz, all right. It looks like a Mexican. Maybe uh, Liz is Mexican. They are drinking juice. They are drinking some juice, cool. She is, she is wearing earrings. Uh, she wears earrings? Uh -huh. What about personality or physical description? She's talkative. She's talkative. She is beautiful. She's beautiful, yeah. friendly, talkative, Latin American girl. A face woman. A what? A Th face woman, tranquila. Ah, okay. An easy, an easy going lady. Okay, very good. All right. What about the uh, what about the boy? He has short hair. He has short black hair. Black hair. He's white. Okay, he has white Brown skin hair. or he's white. He's, okay. he's good looking. He's good looking, okay. He's in love. He's in love, all right. He's in love with Liz, maybe. Okay, fantastic people. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna listen to the conversation a last time so that we can remember about about the situation. Later we're gonna move to another activity. Okay, here we go. To meet her. Sorry. 
Okay. Hey, what's going on with this video? Give me one second. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Which one? Uh, okay. Yes. And prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Do you listen to it? Yes. 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 Okay. So last time we will we will see this video. Okay. Hi, Raúl. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh. Well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. All right, so we're going to finish with this and we're gonna move on to the next part. Okay, we're going to have a lesson objective again. And well, what is the lesson objective for tonight, people? Can somebody read it? Learn to use modifiers with particles and preposition. In this lesson or in this session, we will learn to use modifiers with particles and prepositions, okay? That's what we're going to try to identify. And in order to, to do so, we're gonna go over the next part, okay? Now, modifiers with participles and preposition. Hey, after, see, after seeing this video, okay, you are going to get more information in the internet and you are going to provide like some other examples, okay? So, but let us pay special attention on what's a modifier and, and which are the participles uh, and prepositions, okay? Here we go. Now, as you can see, uh, they took into consideration some expression from the conversation, right? Who's role? Which one is role? Who's lives? Okay, and so on. Listen. Hello again. In this session, we will understand and use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who is Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun. In this case, the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. Okay, simple like that, right? So I will go over the grammar. Participles, this is how we. Okay, I will go to this chart again. Now, can you see and can you listen to the, to the video people? Okay. Yeah, okay, thank you. And you know, modifiers with participles and preposition. What do you listen to the lady saying about participles? What are the participles over here? Wearing. 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 Talking. Talking. Next okay. to. No, next to, uh, uh, but I listen, it would say participles 
Can you mention some other participles? Because the only ones we have here are wearing, talking. Can you mention some others? Dancing. Dancing. Eating. Eating. Watching. Watching. Drinking. Drinking. Playing. Dancing. Dancing. Wearing. Playing. 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 Etc. Right? Thinking. So all the verbal forms that we have in ING are participle, but they are present participle. Present participle. That's the exact way to name those participles because we have present participles and then we have we also have past participle. Okay. And in your form, participle. Yeah, they are participle, but present participle. Okay, so in these participles are uh, are, are like uh, playing the role of modifiers, but what do they modify? Repeat again, please. Yeah, so what what oh what do they modify? Because we are we are we are we are talking about modifier, right? So these are these modify something over here. They have a function. They modify the noun or the pronoun in this case. Now, if I tell you he's the man, so that you can you can get the idea. So, so, quiero que se fijen bien que son los modifiers, okay? O cómo se utilizan, cómo los identificamos. Tenemos participles, present participles, right? Wearing, drinking, uh, serving, etc. Right? So you mention a lot. Pero ellos, estos son participles que funcionan como modificadores. ¿A qué modifican? Al nombre. Ok, the man. The one. In this case, it's a pronoun. Ok, ese es un pronombre. Pero si yo les digo, hey, he's a man. ¿A quién me refiero? He's the man. Raúl. Uh, we, it's because we know now, right? We're talking about Raúl. Imaginemos que no nos dicen ni el nombre, ni nos dicen que el, el participle. No nos dicen el participial phrase. No nos dicen esto. Solo nos dicen, hey, he's a man. Vamos a saber de quién se está hablando. No. Depends. No, right? So... You, now you can see about the importance of talking about modifiers, okay, in participles and preposition. Now, now he's a man, a menos que no, no nos lo apunten con el dedo y nos digan, ese es el hombre. Y si, si no lo hacen, solo lo dicen, entonces no vamos a saber de quién se está hablando. Pero si ya le agregamos participles como, ah, he's a man wearing a green shirt. Ese es el hombre, el que está usando una camisa verde. Ahora sí ya sabemos de quién es, ¿verdad? De quién se está hablando. Now, in the second one, we have, he is the one. Ok, acá no tenemos un nombre, pero tenemos un pronombre. Ok, pero de quién, ok, de quién se está hablando. Ajá, se está hablando de la persona que está hablando con Liz, talking to Liz. Now we can identify the person, right? We know that they are talking about Raul. It, it's okay? So far, so good? Yeah. Okay, so far, so yeah. good. Excellent. Now, on the other hand, we have prepositions such as with, in, next to, on. First one. With short black hair, with in jeans next to the window on the coach. Oh. Now, 
we actually let's imagine the same right we don't know who who they are talking about they then they only say hey she's a woman okay but who's the one that they are talking about they are talking about the woman with short black hair okay so we have specific information that is presented with a preposition on the second one we have which one is julia she's the tall one now we have specific info over here we know that we are talking about a lady who's tall this is a this is a pronoun okay she's the tall one in jeans okay specific info prepositions now we have a clear idea about who julia is next one who are the smiths they are the people okay next to the window next to preposition and the last one which ones are the smiths they are the ones on the coach no other people but the ones on the coach okay okay i think we are ready to put into practice what we have learned the thing is that the time is running let me see andrea says Okay, okay, Andrea. Okay, I'm sorry because you are not going to be able to finish with the with the class tonight, but I will take it into consideration. Okay, people, let's see. Let's go over the knowledge check, and I think we're gonna be done with it. I will let you know what's coming tomorrow, people. Choose the sentences using, using modifiers with participles or prepositions correctly. And we have, Clark is the tall guy. He's wearing a button-down shirt and car cargo pants. What is the best option? Clark is the tall guy wearing a button-down shirt and cargo pants, or Clark is the tall guy wears a button-down shirt and cargo pants. The, the first, first, the first one. Why the first one? Because uh, the verb. No, it is not a verb. It is a waiting. Yeah, but but that is Part not a uh, participle. The, uh, it's a present participle form. It's a participle. Okay, Clara is a guy yeah. wearing a bottom shirt in cargo pants. Okay, this is the, the the one that that's correct. Let's go over the second one. Adam and Louis are the good looking couple. They are talking to Tom. Adam and Louis are the good looking couple talking to Tom, or Adam and Louis is the good looking couple talking to Tom. The first one. The first one. First one. The first one. What, what's the difference? Okay, we have Tom over here, Tom over here. We have two over here, we have two over here. We have talking over here, we have talking over here. We have couple over here, we have couple over here. We have it's good looking, to be good looking. It's to be. We are have are in are in is are because, because it's fuller. the third person. Uh so the, the, the thing is about a plural be. form of the yeah. verb to be. So we're gonna see it. Lynn is a John Carroll. She's is a She's a, in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. First or second, people? What's the mean stripper in this statement? The first one. Uh, okay, it's uh, like, you know, I, I don't know if you have seen some shirts that, that some people cut them, okay? Uh, um, in in the lower part of the shirt, so those are like this kind of shirt. Okay, thanks. So the first or the second one, people. The first, first one. one. First one. First one. Okay. Okay, we're gonna see it in a minute okay that's right i i saw i saw i got your point 
Okay, number four, Jessica is the attractive woman. She's sitting on the left of Antonio. The first one. The first one. Read the first, please. First, Jessica is a attractive first woman one. sitting to the left of Antonio. That's the first one. Okay, good. I, I got it. And the number five is AJ is the serious looking boy. He's listening to his new salsa CD. The first one. The What's first the first one. all about? First. It's the first one. Yes, sir. So I think this is this is the difference, right? The yes. participle. So we're gonna check it, and I think we're gonna try to finish with the activity for. I will check the list attendance, okay? And I will let you know what's coming for tomorrow. Okay, so we didn't have any problem with this active with this activity. So I think we identify perfectly what's a, a participle. What are some of the prepositions and the way they look? They were as modifiers. Okay, I think we 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 could get it tonight. Okay, now I will stop sharing. I mean, I stop sharing. We're gonna. I will tell you what's coming for tomorrow. Okay, some pieces of advice, people. Cuando hagan una presentación y se preparen, eh, tomen muy en cuenta la pronunciación, ¿ok? La pronunciación que se la hayan aprendido súper bien para que no tengan dificultades en sus presentaciones. Lo otro es que se memoricen la información, que se la aprendan, ¿ok? De esa manera, su, 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 ¿cómo, les, ¿cómo les digo? Se, Su aprendizaje va a ser más rápido. Al principio es más, se siente como más difícil andar repitiendo las palabras o las frases, pero de poco a poquito eh, aprendemos y cada vez este, sentimos que el idioma como que se vuelve un poquito más fácil. Eh, for tomorrow, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Todos se van a preparar. La, la otra semana se viene algo sumamente importante. ¿Qué es, chicos? The final exam. The final test, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Um, se van a preparar con los videos. Ya los vimos, ¿ok? Ya los discutimos, etcétera. Pero... Eh, mañana van a jugar el rol del maestro. ¿Qué es lo que va a suceder? Yo el día de mañana voy a ir eligiendo los videos, le voy, a, le voy a quitar el sonido y le voy a dar play. Cuando el video vaya transcurriendo, bueno, voy a tratar de optimizar el tiempo y me voy a ir exactamente a las partes más significativas. Por ejemplo, acá si elegimos este video, Como no vamos a tener sonido, yo le voy a decir a alguien que nos, que nos diga cómo se pronuncia la información. Si llegamos a la gramática, entonces yo le voy a pedir a alguien que nos lo explique. Que nos lo explique cómo, y que nos dé algunos ejemplos. Eso va a suceder con todos los videos. ¿Cuántos tenemos acá, por ejemplo? Dos, tres. Voy a buscar como los más... Los que yo considero van a ser súper importantes para su evaluación. Ok, por supuesto, no es que van a, a decir todo lo del video. Solo vamos a ir como haciendo un repaso de cada uno de los, de la información que, que nos presentan en, en los videos. Ok. That's Only for the mind. videos of session four. Ok, no, from the previous ones also. Ok. From the previous ones. Okay, oh. so in the six section, in the previous section. Oh yeah, no, it will be only about about number four. I think you are right. Yes, because you know, if we go 
back like into the second one well i think the hour is not going to be enough okay, okay. de la tres yeah. y de la cuatro vamos a vamos a ver de la tres y de la cuatro vamos a vamos a buscar como lo más significativo okay teacher yes. una pregunta tell me eh, no sé si encontró el audio Eh, de uh, la I apologize because I couldn't get it. Lo busqué, pero fíjese que encontré otros similares, pero no encontré eso. Entonces, este... Voy a seguir buscándolo y si no lo encuentro mañana, pues entonces mañana... Eh, lo vemos, ok, vemos de qué se trata el audio, vamos a ver las respuestas, ok, y vamos a hacer una actividad, aunque no tengamos el audio, ok. 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 So, I will check the list of things. Uh, ayúdenme, por favor, con la lista. Teacher, Tell me. y en ese caso de esa parte eh, que mencionaba la compañera no nos afectaría. Eh, se lo digo porque si sí, eh, las personas encargadas si sí nos pasan como enviando mensajes que tenemos que terminar las secciones y nos dan día y así, entonces no sé sí. si nos afectaría eso. Hiroki is talking now, right? Ah, no, yo no. no. Yo no. Yo no, yo no. Ok. Por eso les decía, Jonathan, si yo no encuentro el audio, mañana voy a mostrar las respuestas, ¿ok? Y vamos a ver este, alguna, vamos a hacer una pequeña actividad ahí. De tal modo que ustedes se recuerden de cuáles son las respuestas y, y si lastimosamente no encuentro el audio, pues ustedes ya van a saber cuáles son las respuestas. De esa manera la plataforma les va a contar siempre el 100%, ¿ok? It's ok. Ok. Now... List the tennis people. This is very important. Adriana. Here. Okay. Andrea Esmeralda. Claudia Jocelyn. Present. David Alonso. Present. Francisco. Hey, Francisco didn't show up today. Gabriela Guadalupe. Glendy. Here. Ileana. I'm here, teacher. Hiroki. Present, teacher. Jennifer Raquel. I'm here. Jonathan Vladimir. Present. Josué Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Carla Tatiana. Present. Catherine Jasmine. Present. Luisa Ariana. Present. Mayra Patricia. Present. Nerlin. Present teacher. And Chancy Jamilet. Okay, is Chancy over here? I will repeat, okay? People, I, I didn't notice they were in the class. Andrea Esmeralda. Well, Andrea Esmeralda was at the beginning of the class, right? Yes, yes. she wrote yeah. in the shop. Ah, okay, so Andrea is over here. Okay, Andrea, I got your participation in the class. Francisco, well, Paco was not in the class, right? And Chancy Jamilet. That's it. She right. She the typed, chat. yeah, see, right? Yes. Uh, she, she typed in the in the chat. Thank the you chat. very much. 
So congratulations because the assistance is, is quite good. Lo felicito porque ustedes casi no tenemos dificultades con la asistencia. Um, sigan así. No matter if you continue with me as, a, as your teacher. Okay, but you know. Mientras más perseverantes se vuelvan, va a ser mejor. Tarde o temprano se van a ser bilingües. Van a, wow, a lo mejor eh, algunos de ustedes hasta se van a convertir en teachers. Créanlo, en serio. Yo, yo he tenido estudiantes que eh, les di clase hace como unos 15 años atrás, imaginémonos, y ahora son docentes de inglés. Entonces, quiere decir que el que persevera, alcanza. ¿Verdad? Inclusive hasta mejores que nosotros se vuelven algunos. Y ese es el objetivo de nosotros. Que ustedes sean mejores que los, que los propios teachers. ¿Ok? Uh, I wonder if there is any question or any comment so that, you can, so that we can discuss just before finishing the class. I have a question. Carla. ¿Puede repetir la tarea? Ya. Yeah. La tarea es la siguiente, miren, el día de mañana van a estar listos con los videos de la sección 3 y 4, ¿ok? Porque ya se nos viene el final test, ¿ok? De alguna manera tenemos que hacer un repaso. Entonces, um, yo voy a, voy a, a poner a, a uno de los videos, pero sin sonido. Ok, yo voy a buscar como las partes más significativas del video y voy a elegir a alguien. Yo voy a pedir un voluntario. Si no hay voluntario, voy a elegir quién nos va a explicar esa parte del video. Si es una parte de, pronunci de pronunciación, entonces igual yo voy a pedir voluntario. Si no hay voluntario, yo voy a elegir quién. De tal manera que tengamos un, un refuerzo, ¿verdad? En, en el lapso de una hora. Porque ya la otra semana prácticamente se nos termina el, el nivel de inglés y me interesa mucho que, que pues vayan súper preparados para el siguiente nivel. Otra cosa, chicos. Yo me recuerdo, no sé si fue con ustedes que les hice la observación de los verbos regulares, la pronunciación de los verbos regulares en pasado. Ya yes, teacher. ¿Verdad que fue con ese grupo, verdad? Yes. Entonces, eh, eso no lo discutimos. Y me interesa mucho que sí lo veamos. Entonces, quiero que hagan un repaso de, de lo que estudiaron respecto a la pronunciación de los verbos regulares en pasado. ¿Ok? Porque si hay alguna dificultad con eso todavía, pues yo ya no quiero que se vayan a mover a un intermedio y tengan esa, esa dificultad. ¿Ok? Lo vamos a tratar de solventar ahorita. Entonces, prácticamente quiero que hagamos un repaso de un, un, de un tema de, de, de básico, que es la pronunciación de los verbos regulares, que veamos los videos nuevamente y que estemos listos para mañana. ¿Ok? Yo le decía al otro grupo, porque con el otro grupo vamos a hacer algo similar. Yo les decía, como yo voy a pedir voluntarios, a lo mejor usted se puede enamorar de un video nada más y cuando yo mencione... Algún voluntario, entonces usted dice, ese es el que yo más estudié. Ahorita voy, teacher. Haga, háganme trampa, ok, se vale. Háganme trampa. Y si quieren, estudien uno, dos o tres. Y con esos tres, pues estén listos. Ok. Si quieren, se coordinan y ustedes, no, yo voy a agarrar el número tal. Vos agarras el otro y tú agarras el otro. Entonces, de tal manera que... Que no se sientan sobrecargados también, porque yo sé que, que ustedes trabajan. ¿Ok? ¿Les parece la idea? Ahí en el yes. grupo se pueden coordinar, yes. ¿ok? Yes. And let us see tomorrow, people. I love the way you work over here. Congrats. See you tomorrow. See you. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.